All right, gents. So tell me, what does the Syndicate have in abundance that we don't? Web tools. Herpes. Literally everything. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, probably. But I'm thinking of one thing in particular. Supplies. While we're choking down squirrel stew and using rock gut whiskey to treat anything from the flu to a bullet in the head, the IODS has enough food and medicine to supply both them and the whole of Westminster. I feel it's high time we alleviate them of some of that excess and put ourselves in a position to succeed. After all, health is wealth. So what are you suggesting we do about it? And if you say a train robbery again, I swear to God. Well, now, just hear me out. There's a train that makes up a third of the Syndicate supply line, and... Oh, for fuck's sake, Winston. You've been reading your bloody spy comic books again. You're not 006, or whatever. Give it a rest. Well, it's 005, actually. And what I read in my spare time has nothing to do with this. I really don't see what your issue is, anyway. They have supplies. They transport them via train. We rob the train. It's simple. It's not bloody simple. It's never bloody simple. There are far too many variables at play in a job like that. We broke even by the skin of our bollocks on the supply run to the lab. And you want to up the ante? Not a chance. Out of the question. That's just it, though, innit? You're looking at the ones and zeros of the returns from the lab. But the real intangible score of that job run is staring us right in the bloody face. What are you on about? What the wayfarer? Hmm. Not a bad point. All right, fine. Here's what we'll do. Let's send the Wayfarer to strap on a tux and play international spy. And if they don't come back, we're only back to net zero on that lab run. Happy? Seems like the more people we send, the better chance of success we'd have. But, yeah, sure. I'll take what I can get. Good. You should be thanking me for even agreeing to that. The stakes of a job like this are still sky high. Seeing as if the Wayfarer fucks this up, the heat comes down on our heads like a red coach deli belly. You hear that, Wayfarer? If you muck this up and get yourself killed, I'll find you in the afterlife and shit down your throat for the rest of eternity. Excellent. So the train passes through Poplar Station. That's where you'll be heading first. The station is a syndicate outpost, so you'll most likely have to put down some dogs to get to the control room. Once you're there, all you have to do is switch the train's route to Canning Town Station. Hop aboard, and Bob's your uncle, you're done. We'll be waiting in Canning Town to unload the supplies. Easy peasy. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be just that simple. What could go wrong? It's only the Syndicate's most important and highly guarded assets we're talking about. So in case it's not the sunny stroll in the park that Winston is presenting it as, take these explosives. If we can't have those supplies, Nobody can. Get me? If things start going south, blow that train to kingdom come. Even if we come away empty-handed, at least we'll muck up the Syndicate's main supply lines. But securing those supplies is still the main objective, so don't go blowing them up for the hell of it. Any questions? The Vat Cats of the Gentry struck a bit of a deal with the Mangy Mutts of the Isle a while back. In exchange for guns, slave labour, tickets, and a promise not to kick down their doors in the middle of the night, the Siddiqua supplies Her Majesty and the Distinguished Royal Court with food, medicine, and other essentials. But it's no secret that there's very little love lost between the lot. All it might take to get the gentry to double back on their little deal is a slight rock of the old boat, if you catch my drift. Something like a dashing rogue agent with a license to kill, intercepting their supply run, for instance. I don't know for sure, but there's a scene in Radfinger where 005 boards a moving train to neutralise an A-bomb somewhere in the Swiss Alps. If that's even loosely based on reality, then I'd expect heavily armed goons everywhere. Maybe some bookish scientists in lab coats. And I wouldn't count on the possibility of a few trained martial artists either. They'll attack you on sight, so your best bet is to go in stealth and kill them one by one. Preferably with a silenced pistol. Medicine, wool, other finished goods and the like. But most importantly, anything you've been craving while licking the lid of a tin of dog food, they've got it in that train. Bangers and mash, eggs and rashers, proper baked beans, fish and chips, steaks as thick as a phone book, they've got it all. You pull this job off, and we'll quite literally be eating like royalty. 
Good luck, mate. The lads will see you in Cannon Town. Quick, take this before Gaunt sees. Christ. This is such a mistake. If you hang around, it wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Someone there? Go get them, Sly Kick.
going down. They know better than to mess with the dogs. You <laughs> bit. What was that? What was that? Yeah. Go get them, Simon. Stop getting. More bodies getting shite done, never hurt anything. Well done, mate. We'll take it from here. Head back down to the swan. Winston and Gorn want to have a chat. Careful where you try to... Didn't your mum teach you better? I wouldn't tarry if I were you. If I'm watching you... At least two others are doing the same. Don't try nothing. You beautiful bastard. You did it. Look at this score. I knew you'd come through. Gort may have doubted you, but I knew. I could tell you were the type of shit-kicking outlaw that could roll into town and take control of the situation. How was it? 
Did you throw anyone off the train? God, I wish I could have been there. Sounds exhilarating. You'll have to spill the details over a vodka martini sometime. It must have been such a thrill. I can only imagine. Anyway, thanks a million for pulling this off. You have no idea how helpful these supplies will be. I'll be able to start up a makeshift hospital for our injured, assign someone to be a full-time chef, get people repairing clothing. This stuff's a complete game changer. Yeah, yeah, well done, mate. No doubt these supplies will help us out for the time being. However, you didn't disrupt the supply line between the dogs and Westminster like I asked. Another train full of supplies will leave Poplar Station tomorrow like nothing ever happened. If disrupting the supply line was that important to you, why didn't you just come right out and say so from the beginning? What are you not telling us? When I need you to know something, you'll know it. Until then, don't even think about questioning me or my motives. Besides, you should be thanking me. You got your shipment of toys to play with because I gave the bloody order. Seems to me like you've got a lot of work to do. Better get to it. Yeah, well, fair play, I suppose. There's a lot to do, and the sooner I get to it, the better off we'll be to execute whatever cryptic plan you're running. Thanks again, Wayfarer. Here, take this for your trouble. Patch yourself up. <laughs>